Dalaygon kayang ginao sa mga maanindot nga tingog. So ang ato ang tema nagapadayon spread out and the message of the Lord this morning is entitled The K for Extensive Mission. And the foundation text taken from the book of Matthew chapter 28 verses 18 down to 20 in the New International Version it says here then Jesus came to them and said all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me and therefore go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age my dear brothers and sisters in Christ magaampo kita kanimo o Dios salamat nini nga matahum nga kabuntagon o salamat nini mga kaanakan nga ania dini sa mga balay alampuanan aron sa pagsimba o sa pagpadayag sa amuang mga abilidad mga gifts nga imuha nga gi trust nga rin ka o Dios and Lord God as I tell this message na hinaot ako nga ikaw mag-guide ka na ako o ikaw ta gino pinagi sa imong espiritu mag-prepare sa mga kasing-kasing sa pagdawat sa mga mensahe bless each one of us oh God in Jesus name we give thanks amen so as I start this message uh, I would like to tell you some immortal words from the great men in the missions. And first in the list, we have Henry Martin among the great missionaries in his times. According to him, the spirit of Christ is the spirit of missions. And the nearer we get to him, the more intensely missionary we become. Another from Rune Luz, he said that the great commission is the great adventure of Christianity. O ang pinakasikat na ini, mao kang Jesus Christ. And according to him, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Dili fishers of men dito sa pasel ha. Fishers of men bisan asa ta ibutang sa Ginoo. Okay? So now that we become or now that you become a Christian disciple or followers of Christ, so usa may angay nimong buhaton. What are we going to do for this extensive mission of Christ? So this is a worldwide evangelism. Eh. Kung imong tanawon ang ato ang passage, that is a worldwide evangelism. O gi-challenge ang tanang magtotoo sa Ginoo. Either you are young as you are or old as you are there, gi-challenge ka sa Ginoo nga mubuhat sa mao nga mission, saving the lost souls for Christ. So, before or Right after our uh, conversion, as we go for the mission, let us first, this is the first point, let us first know the great commander. Diba? In verse 18, if you notice, ni Jesus, all authority in heaven and earth is given to me. Kinsay musokol. Wala. Tungon kayo wala si Bisan Kinsay gahom nga makalumpag kang ginong Heso Kristo. So there is no one like Jesus Christ. In fact, the Bible tells us that Jesus Christ is the only sovereign Lord and Christ. Only. Nag-iisa. Another, He has the absolute sovereign authority. Another, He has absolute Lordship over all things. Including ninyong mga kabataan. Including ninyong mga hamtong. Including na po. Kamutanan nga naminaw. You are bound as subordination to Jesus, not in subordinates. 
So during his earthly ministry of Jesus, he continued to show that Jesus is Lord over all diseases, over the devil and demons, and over death. Kung inyong basahon ang Mateo 4, 23, ngato sa 25, gikan sa Galilea, ngato sa nagkalilaing dapit sa Decapolis, mao ka na ang gibuhat sa Ginoo. O gipamatud-an sa Gospel writers nga si Ginoo iso Kristo, mao'y Ginoo ni ining tanan. And today, we have received our orders. Why brother Ian? Why me? Why sa atong mga elders? Naga preach, naga tudlo, naga mentala. We have received our orders from the one who possesses all power, all ability, all authority, all right to do through us what He wants to be done, according to Colossians 1:16. Brothers and sisters in Christ, ladies and lads, we can accomplish His will because we are indwelt with His power. Dili ka mapukan igsoon. Mapukan ka lang kung magpalandong ka diya sa aninos kaaway. Another, the next point is that expand the Great Commission. Here it is. Mone ang pinaka-highlight sa mga mensahe karon. Three things Jesus told the disciples to do. Una, make disciples. If you notice the phrases in Matthew 28, in verse 7, nag-ingon diya, Go quickly and tell his disciples. Kisa'y nagsulte ang anghel diya sa adlas pagkabanhaw. In verse 10, nag-ingon si Jesus, the reason Jesus, Go and tell my brethren. And in verse 19, nag-ingon na usap si Jesus sa 11 disciples, Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations. Notice the keywords. The making of disciples demands you to go anywhere. To go in your community, to go in your workplace, to go in your business, to go outside in this church for you to make disciples. That is a strict command. And that is a gospel command that needs also to be followed. So the questions to ponder before fulfilling the commission of Jesus given to us is this. Why should I make disciples? Nga nung ako man, Lord, nga kanang di mako kamao manulte. Okay, just wa, bonus ha. Imong anak, grabe ka, maay manulte. He's a good public speaker. Among na-discover, sa ato ang kuan, youth camp. Nga inana ba? Sometimes ang talento, ang abilidad sa usaka bata usay ma ilahang tipigan tungod kay walay nagpaluyo nga suporta nila. So usbo na to ang mga mindset na to, ha. So why should I make disciples? Simply because the Lord asked you to do. Ang Ginoo naghangyo or nagsugo nimo. Another, how can I make disciples? Una, by your teaching from the Bible, through the Bible. Pinagi sa iyong pagpanudlo. Ikaduha, by your Christ-like attitude. Kumun kaya sa itong mga kabataan, iman eh, mga baptized ng mga kabataan, disciple mo sa ginoo, and you are in the process of disciple making a discipleship. Kinaglan nga magbaton mo sa kinaiya, nga iya ni Kristo. Hindi kayo, bit-bit o Bible unya ga kalandrakas lang na agi <laughs> I don't like to mention that one okay so by your talks and walks usahay ato ang gikinabuhi musukwahi po sa ato ang ginalitok usahay po nang ato ang ginasulte musukwahi po sa ato ang paglakaw minta nga uh, kuan uh, we, I need to do this Pero laom kaya nga ako ang bulsa. Oh, na ba? Alam niya na kung anong ibig ko sabihin. So, when shall I make disciples? Kanus aman? The world situations demands now. Karun. 
Because man is indeed need the Savior right now. Wa ta kabalo kung sa imong tupad, dili pa na siya magtotoo. Totoo lang na siya. Kaya nagpatoo sa ka. Ha? Nana. Another, mark disciples. So among the marks of, the, of a disciple is this, one who abides in the words of Jesus, one who loves the brethren, and one who bears much fruit, and this is very important, the first step to discipleship, one who is baptized in the God's His name and the authority of Jesus Christ. So believers should be baptized for the following reasons. Prusalan mo ni Brad. Ingon diha. It is how we ask God for forgiveness of our past life. And it is how we have our sins cut off from our past life. And the third one, it is to unite ourselves with Christ in our brand new life. Dili lang ka bag-o Sinina, kung dili, bago ang imong kinabuhi o bago ang imong kasing-kasing o panghuna-huna. The moment you receive Jesus in baptism. Niyana siya. So sa ito ang next slide, doon ay picture nga akong ipakita. If at baptism, you have put on Christ, wash away sins, remission of sins, made free from sin, benefit of Christ's death and enter the body of Christ, then unsa may imuhang condition sa so wala pa ka na bautismo eh. In other words, you are outside of Christ. In ane, baptism is essential and simply a condition of God's grace, not a sacramental work that merits salvation. The blood of Jesus saved us through the conditions of God's grace being met. We must believe in the Lord, repent of our sins, confess Jesus is the Lord, and be immersed in the water for the forgiveness of our sins. And when we do this, sa atong mga kaygalaan nga wala pa diha nagpabautismo diha sa Ginoo, when we do this, we earn nothing but God extends Grace to us. Ingin na na ang ato nga pagsabot sa episode 28. Ephesians 2.8 and Titus 3.5 doesn't preclude baptism because baptism is very important to one's salvation. Ingin na na siya mga kaigsunan. And I would say that baptism is the logical starting place of true discipleship and the beginning of a life of learning and obeying the words of Jesus Christ. The next one, mature the disciples. Wala lamang nato sila gi-invite sa manini ng mga kabataan, kundi ato silang in-orture, ni ato silang nasuportaan, both spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and financially. Kaya kalakip mo na sila nga paghingkod, o ka nato usab, nga maghingkod usab ka. We are to make disciples who in turn make other disciples. We are called to teach the new disciples all the things we have been taught of the Lord. Gitudluan ta sa Ginoo nga ingon ini inyong buhaton. We must make an ongoing investment in the life of the new disciple. So, ano na yung mga pictures niya sa itong mga kabataan ka ni Adto? I don't know if kaila pa ba mo sa uban ni Ana. <laughs> Tanawa ninyo? Kaila pa mo? Basin tapad na ninyo? Ha? Huh? Diba? Tanawa. Kanang sa kuan, kanang sa wala nga bahin, o sa tuo nga bahin, Ang uba na na nila na himong successful sa ilaha nga dream nga kanang career. And I would say nga inyong paghago kani adto wala na himong kawang around of applause. 
Diba? Mona, you are harvesting the fruits of your labor. And these young men and women, ngayon yung lagi disciple, through your financial, through your emotional and spiritual guidance, they will in turn making disciples sa ato ang mga, sa future generations. Usa ka makusog pakpak para sa atong buhay nga Diyos. So as Jesus' disciples in this local congregation, we should continue to learn from the Lord. Kanindot nga mag-alagad sa ginao, o kanindot nga mag-cut-on kanunay diha sa ginao. Dili bugat ang iyahang mga pulong, mga egzon. Dili bugat. Mabugatan ka lang kung magduha-duha ka pagsunod. We must continue to invest in those we are discipling. Brother Ian is a living testimony sa inyong paghago. Ako, kanos araw ko nabot rin? Tuig, dos mil, this is ice, o sa construction laborer, and now standing in front of you preaching the gospel, o ako mayingon nga part mo sa ako nga natamo nga success. Kung dalaygon kayong ginaw sa inyong mga kinabuhi. Say, makahilak na lang ko dito sa kwarto nga Why God choose me? <laughs> no, ina na ba? And then, uh, because discipleship involves long-term commitment and investment. Ina na mga isuon. Kung nakita ninyo ang inyong bunga sa inyong paghago. So to be a disciple of Jesus means more than just a casual church member. Ayaw lamang pagbintinar ang gitawag nila o tulog kape. Because as a disciple of Jesus, as a member of this body, it requires you commitment to the teachings of Christ, the love of the brethren, and bearing the fruit of righteousness. So nothing a church does brings as much glory to God as sharing the gospel with a hell-bound sinner like me, a hell-bound sinner like you, like us, prior to the past life prior to receiving Jesus. And that sinner like me and you and us being saved and then maturing so that they can continue the cycle of making, marking, and maturing the disciples. Sumala sa inyo nakita ka ron. Diba? So the third point, which is the last point of this message, yield to our great companion. After we're baptized, the command to go and tell becomes a vital part sa ato ang mga kinabuhi. Kung nahimo siya ang vital role in the process of flourishing unto maturity. Kung mga eksona kumingon, the task would be impossible. Impossible kayo. Impossible to do on the go. You know why? Because of the many obstacles along the way. Satan would resist and try to prevail over the game, over the plan of God. And Satan, his prime role is to devour the game plan of God. Another, the devil would try even harder to hinder us. Maningkamot gud siya. Ug salamat sa Ginoo kay kining mga kabataan, maminaw gud sila sa mga nagmatuto kanila. And we keep on praying nga uh, mahimo mo nga successful sa inyo nga kinabuhi nga Kristohanon. And the devil would try to hinder us by throwing confusion, hatagan kag kalibog sa imong angay nga buhaton, doubt, fear, procrastination, enticement so that we can keep up with the fashion of the world. Nga nung adunay mga kabataan nga frustrated sa ilang kinabuhi, kaya man ganahan mo apil o Bible study. Pangayoag besikulo, kuma-kuma ng baba. Pero maghisgot mo sa ilang mga subject sa eskwelahan, bansay kayo mutubag. Pero patubago rin mo sa pulo sa ginoo, natutulog ba ang Diyos? Naunsa. 
Nah, nah. You are a disciple and someday you will a disciple. Nah, nah, nah. Kasabay na sa inyo ang pag hingkod, pag uswag dia sa pagtulunan. But if you notice the very powerful words of Jesus, Jesus had his comforting promise to each one of us. In verse 20 he said, Palikog basa. And the good thing, I do not take it away with interlinear Bible. O kana adya sa to nga next slides. Kana ako agi nanggi istadihan pag ayo. We have the chapter of Matthew 28. We have the strong concordance of the Bible. We have the Greek transliteration and the English translation and of course its morphology. We have the word pasa, exousia, panta the etne, panta and then pasastas himeras. So sa inyo nobserbaran mga exonan. Four times in the original text, the word O was being mentioned. Sa makaupat, gibalik-balik sa mao nga teksto. Four times in the original text, the word all is used. We have all authority. We have all nations. We have all things and all the days. And I consider this phrase, so verse 20b, it is an allusion taken from Psalm 91, verse 1, and the following verses. And most of the scholars called it God's 911. This is the round the clock of God's protection sa tagsa tagsa ka mga magtotoo. If you notice in Psalm 91 verses 5 and 6, ato ang makita diha, niingon diha, You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in the darkness, and nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. So, gihatagan tag kasiguruhan sa ginoo na ang iya nga protection alang ni ato mga disciple o mga disciples is around the clock. The Jewish counting of time, do you notice verses 5 and 6? There is a night, kagabhion, day, kabuntagon, darkness, kahapunon, and noon day, kaudtuhon. Ang protection sa ginoo, anaa, kanimo. And this promise of Jesus, based on the context, matod sa konteksto nga itong gipasihan, alang lamang ni atong disipulo o mga naga matuto sa mga disipulo ni Kristo. Alang lamang no, kini siya nga saad. And I believe that many of us in this local church fall into the category of disciples and the rest are disciples. So seeing the church growth in the book of Acts, we see the fulfillment of his promise by sending the helper, the Holy Spirit, who filled them and empowered them for life and ministry. So Christ's disciples and his disciples or disciples are never alone. The implication of Jesus' promise, wala ta mag-inosara. Iksoon wa ka mag-inosara sa imong pagpaningkamot, sa paglakaw o pagsangyaw. Aside nga doon na kay Kauban, sa ministeryo, sa Buluhaton, there is a great commander nga nag-uban ka nimo. He is our great companion. Jesus continues his life and ministry through each one of us and through the church collectively. Okay? Ana-ana? Nabalik na? And then Jesus equips us and is with us so that we are without excuse if we fail to obey. Diba? Kasi kailan ni Nick Bujizik, yung taong walang kamay at walang paa. But he is a great evangelist. Diba? So try to reflect yourself to that man of God. Jesus equips you through his written words so that we are without excuse if we fail to obey. So as we go to the mission, 
let us always trust the Lord, even to the smallest part of our plan, strategy, and vision, and God will lead us to success of this mission. Again, I would like to quote Dr. George W. Peters. God is a God of missions. He wills, he commands, and demands missions. He made missions possible through his son, and he made actual missions in sending the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, tells us this way, As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. And notice how the Apostle Paul described the Christian disciples. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. Now then, you are, and I am an apostello of this great kingdom, of the great commander, of the great savior, of the great God, Jesus Christ. In his book, ato ta sa ato nga concluding part, in his book, The Unchurch Next Door, that church is called to reach the world for Jesus one person at a time. In other words, every Christian is commanded to participate in the mission to make disciples. And this mission should be our real life ministry's purpose. Mo kini ang kadako nga katuyuan yun. Tinuod yun siya. Gani, matod pa ni Tom Rainer sa iya hanga book, The Unchurch Next Door. Next slide, please. Yan ha? Ako siya nga kikot, gihulaman na ko iya hanga pulong. Most of the unchurched are your neighbors, your co-workers, whom you know well. Even your family members. And then, and that is why we call them the unchurched next door. They have much in common with us. Many of them have moral values. Most are not anti-church or anti-religion. They are very much like you, except that they are lost without Christ. Kung ana-ana, sulod sa inyong panimalay o sa inyong asilingan o sa inyong trabuhoan, go and evangelize them. And God be with you. Saad doon niya. So, kung sa may buot ngay, pasabot niya niya. And in my own version, I would like to say, most unchurched people do not sense that Christians actively try to share their faith and that many wonder what makes Christians hesitant. In other words, Monisha, the, in other words, many unchurched people would be open to talking about Christ, but Christians do not talk to them about their faith. So I would like to ask you before I leave this pulpit, what hinders you to reach out the unchurched people in your area? Is it because of shyness and pride? Ay, maulaw man ko. Ay. Ah, graduate ko o four-year course sa college o niya. Imuha kong pasangyaon. Si pastor na lang ana. Ay. Diba? Diba? Another, is it because some detractors of the faith? Nitrayan na ka pero na ay nagdaot sa imong pagtulunan. Another, is that, is it because rejection experience from my own family and friends? Half-hearted as working Christian? Another, easily discouraged, or financially constrained, or fear of others' judgment, or other reasons. Ana, evaluation na sa matag-usakan nato. As we go out and spread out the gospel of Jesus. Mga Igzoon, the next time that you will be confused, matod pa sa ato ang next slides, there is the squad goals. If you notice, kinsa na nga mga figure nga na ha? The squad goals of Jesus, weeding souls and making disciples together. So the next time, you'll be confused to do on the go and tell. Palihog, pahimang nui ang imong kaugalingon concerning the comforting words of Jesus. Masa tayo ang gingon in verse 20? I am with you always, even to the end of times. For what? to make great things to succeed in this mission with Jesus. Inana mga egzoon. Why? Ngano na kaingon mo ko niyana? The Bible clearly tells us that Jesus 
is the great I am, not the great I can't. And the team Jesus is the winning team in every area for evangelism. So brothers and sisters in Christ, the K for this extensive mission, Una, know the great commander, and that is Jesus. Next is that expand the great commission, and that is his order. And next is the we need to yield to our great companion. According to Psalm 23, the Lord is our shepherd, the good shepherd. John 10, 11, he is our good shepherd again. Kung ang iya nga saad, nga magpabilin siya, o magauban siya, nga nga kanimo. Mamahimo, nga mahimo, nga posible, kung ikaw magmatinumanon sa iya nga gisogo. Karon, o sa umalabot. Dalaygo ng pulong sa ginoo, mag-aampo kita. Kanimo, Diyos, salamat sa pag-remind ka na mo na kami mga disipulo o mga disciple maker o imo kami kipasaligan ginoo na ikaw mag-auban ka na mo o mga mong pag-aampo ginoo na kini nga local church din sa Bisbali mag-mauswagon, uban ka. Ginoo, wala kami arang mahimo kung dili ang pagtugyan sa among mga kinabuhi nga na kanimo. Lord God, hatagi pa kami o lugway sa kinabuhi. Aron nga kami magmaligon o magmauswagon pa ni ini nga kinabuhi according to your words. And we will become successful in the mission nga diin gipanagtawag mo kami. Bless us today, O God. In Jesus' name we pray and give thanks. Amen.